Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Total War Shogun 2 with me, Get Daved. So, got a rumble in the Bronx. And they've marched out to meet me, which uh, has the benefit of me not having to storm them in a castle, which is good because they have a lot more archers than I do. Bad news is, they're probably going to pick clear skies. <clears throat> which will make it easy for them to shoot me with arrows. Also, it looks like they have the favorable terrain. See if our general can encourage us at all. Kabuki Theater. See, I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to win until now. Badass, also a noble goal. Key. Okay. They have to come to me in order to win the fight, so I'm actually going to pull all of my units back. Ah, uh, not quite like that. Going to try to have everyone in the woods. Having all these Yari cavalry does open up some pretty amazing possibilities for me. Including, oh man, when they show up with their, uh... With their archers, I'm going to be able to rush them very quickly and mow them down. Katana, Nodachi... Yari Ashigaru. Okay. charge this guy into the woods. And... General, general, general. Three general armies, so... We'll probably need some help.
Alright, hopefully they stay hidden in here. Might not be quite enough trees for coverage. They're still fresh, which is good. Sorry if this is a little slow paced for you. We're just trying to be very, very precise. Hmm. Caught on to something. Or not. <laughs> or is confused. They're still fresh, still good to go. This should be considered absurdly high risk. And it's probably going to end in a bloodbath, but... Get him, boys. I don't care if none of you live. Facing some pretty brutal missile attacks on this side, too. Okay, now... They are definitely preoccupied. So I'm going to take this opportunity to really try to mess them up. Also got some other cavalry in reserve. Just basic Yari cavalry. All right, let's see what happens. Could be much better than that. So that part didn't work out exactly as I'd hoped. Which ones? Oh yeah. Yeah, well you're getting crushed. I ordered them to their deaths, pretty much. Wish I'd been paying attention to what happened to you. See, 
The problem I have with those units, and by those units, by you people, I mean, uh, bow cavalry, is we don't really get the perk of being able to smash into a wall of enemies or anything like that. Which would be nice at a time such as now. Really? That made you rote? It's okay, don't worry about it. Okay, and the last thing we need to get stuff under control is to disrupt some of these units over there. Their Yari Samurai will probably lose to my Nodachi Samurai as the fight wears on. Let's see if we can't ensure that that happens. Oh, they're routing already. Oh, okay. Let them run. Yari Samurai, Yari Samurai. You need to help out my Katana Samurai. Broken! So a bunch of their units are starting to rout. Actually all of them. It's kind of weird that the battle thing didn't update. We took kind of heavy losses, mainly due to my intentedness on doing a cavalry rush on the general, but... Actually, you know what? That was not that good a victory. I am pretty disappointed in that result. No. There's a ton of awesome units that you can get by... Ooh. You have not gotten much experience. Sure, that's very good, especially given the heavy dependency on uh, melee units in that group. They're attacking me? I see. Mow these guys down. The whole point of the siege all along was not to actually star them out with the siege, but just to force them to come to me. Mixed results. They were all able to run back to the keep, so that part sucked. Um, I'm gonna save and then we'll auto resolve and see what happens. If I lose, like, all of my additional cavalry. 
34 units, but a cavalry unit. That's kind of disappointing, but I'll take it. How's the public order there? Not bad. Okay, before I forget, we have some trade ships that I don't want to leave at port forever. In theory, this will make me lots of money. Uh, well, maybe we'll find out next time. Next time! All right, the Eco Iki are almost finished, so let's go for that. Much happier battle with a much better dime or er, general. This is auto resolve territory, I think. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Ooh, and a level up for the daimyo, no less. I'll take it. Clan destroyed. Ooh. So that's coming for me. I don't think they'll ever get a chance to get churned out, but... And we should honestly start... Oh my goodness. Backwater Hick Village. We'll start with the good news. General and his bodyguard. I'm gonna go for armor on this one. The rationale being that uh, he tends to get hit with arrows and he's often not in melee. Plus one to command when defending on land. All that to unlock it, and we have no points left to spend on it. My daimyo is already pretty... Ooh, I forgot all about this. Minus 5% upkeep, I'll take that. Wish I'd remembered that line. Oh well, still a decent bonus set. He could be more... So I threatened to attack someone and didn't follow through with it, and that got me a penalty. That sucks. I believe I accidentally hit that button, too. Oh, 
All right. Oh my goodness, move to the daimyo. And new to a, now due to a hilarious coincidence, he can't get there in time. All right, let's see what other wonderful things we can discover this turn. These guys are more or less available. Oh, you know what? That's my phone ringing. I'll be right back. And I'm back. Not that there's much left to this LP. So, by which I mean this video. By which I mean this lp -er. So I've spent most of my money, but the good news is we should be able to get some pretty adequate reinforcements from here. It's just a question of how many units can we send out. Minus four, we'll send some people back. Some noob Ashigaru. Ooh, you come with me. This is actually a kind of difficult choice. I'm going to send back all the Ashigaru. That makes this unit light on missile units. Alright, I feel a bit better about up here, and... The Daimyo is coming for me, that's okay. 22% low success and fairly expensive to try sabotaging. Let's just scout out instead. After we clear that, yeah, that's a different clan. And we're almost at Kyoto. This is the path to Kyoto. I'm going to say it twice. Basically, we only need to take provinces on the way there and then Kyoto itself. Not necessarily easy, but comprehensive. Get my ships back out there. We went too far out, there we go. Whenever that skull flashes, you, that means you're going to suffer attrition. Now, if they're on a ship, like the idea is if you're wintering in enemy territory, it's just like your men dying from disease and so on. Uh, Metsuke. Sorry, someone was just giving me a hard time about the... Not a hard time, someone was commenting on a, my pronunciation of that word. Um... Yeah, if your men are wintering in enemy lands, some of them desert, some of them die from disease. They kind of have different explanations. If you're on a ship, I don't think you're deserting. Like, unless they swing by a port or something. I think that's you dying. So, that part's a shame. And all right, our units are distributed a little bit more. Ooh, maybe I could march out with these guys. Not gonna hurt to keep taking some of these territories. Especially if we can get even up to here. I don't know. We could make it so that we don't have to defend quite as many provinces. Because as I mentioned earlier, minimizing surface area of your empire is probably the most important thing in terms of not getting attacked. Ninja get there, scout the army, and we can afford to lose lots of units here, so...
perfect. Because I am no fan of the Oda clan. Ooh. Basho clan. This is an interesting dilemma. I think I'm going to have them hang back here. Yeah, let's see what happens. Well, you know what? Let's end the video, and next time we'll see what happens. I'll see you there.